In Riemannian geometry, the levi civita connection is a specific connection on the tangent bundle of a manifold. More specifically, it is the torsion-free metric connection, i.e., the torsion-free connection on the tangent bundle preserving a given Riemannian metric. The fundamental theorem of Riemannian geometry states that there is a unique connection which satisfies these properties. In the theory of Riemannian and pseudo-Riemannian manifolds the term covariant derivative is often used for the levi civita connection. The components of this connection with respect to a system of local coordinates are called Christoffel symbols. History the levi civita connection is named after Tullio levi civita although originally discovered by Alwin Bruno Christoffel levi civita along with Gregorio Ricci Kirkbastro used Christoffel's symbols to define the notion of parallel transport and explore the relationship of parallel transport with the curvature thus developing the modern notion of holonomy the levi civita notions of intrinsic derivative and parallel displacement of a vector along a curve make sense on an abstract Riemannian manifold, even though the original motivation relied on a specific embedding since the definition of the Christoffel symbols makes sense in any Riemannian manifold. In 1869, Christoffel discovered that the components of the intrinsic derivative of a vector transform as the components of a contravariant vector. This discovery was the real beginning of tensor analysis. It was not until 1917 that Levi Savita interpreted the intrinsic derivative in the case of an embedded surface as the tangential component of the usual derivative in the ambient affine space. Notation denotes a Riemannian or pseudo-Riemannian manifold. Trademark is the tangent bundle of M. G is the Riemannian or pseudo-Riemannian metric of M. X, Y, Z are smooth vector fields on M. E, smooth sections of trademark. X, Y is the Lie bracket of X and Y. It is again a smooth vector field. The metric G can take up to two vectors or vector fields X, Y as arguments. In the former case the output is a number, the inner products of x and y. In the latter case, the inner product of x p, y p is taken at all points p on the manifold so that g defines a smooth function on m. Vector fields act as differential operators on smooth functions. In a basis, the action reads where Einstein's summation convention is used. Formal definition. An affine connection is called a levi civita connection if it preserves the metric, i.e., g equals zero. It is torsion-free, i.e., for any vector fields x and y we have x, y minus y, x equals x, y, where x, y is the lie bracket of the vector fields x and y. Condition 1 above is sometimes referred to as compatibility with the metric, and condition 2 is sometimes called symmetry, cf. Docamo's text. Assuming a levi civita connection exists it is uniquely determined. Using conditions 1 and the symmetry of the metric tensor G we find, by condition 2 the right-hand side is equal to so we find since Z is arbitrary if this uniquely determines X, Y. Conversely, using the last line as a definition 1 shows that the expression so defined is a connection compatible with the metric, i.e., is a levi civita connection. Christoffel symbols let be the connection of the Riemannian metric. Choose local coordinates and let be the Christoffel symbols with respect to these coordinates. The torsion freeness condition 2 is then equivalent to the symmetry. The definition of the Levi Civita connection derived above is equivalent to a definition of the Christoffel symbols in terms of the metric as well as usual are the coefficients of the dual metric tensor i.e., the entries of the inverse of the matrix, derivative along curve. The levi civita connection also defines a derivative along curves, sometimes denoted by D. Given a smooth curve gamma on and a vector field V along gamma its derivative is defined by formally. D is the pullback connection on the pullback bundle gamma asterisk trademark, in particular, is a vector field along the curve gamma itself. If vanishes, the curve is called a geodesic of the covariant derivative. 
Formally, the condition can be restated as the vanishing of the pullback connection applied to. If the covariant derivative is the Levi-Civita connection of a certain metric, then the geodesics for the connection are precisely those geodesics of the metric that are parametrized proportionally to their arc length. Parallel transport. If the connection is a Levi-Civita connection, then these isomorphisms are orthogonal, that is, they preserve the inner products on the various tangent spaces. Example, the unit sphere in R3. Let be the usual scalar products on R3. Let S2 be the unit sphere in R3. The tangent space to S2 at a point M is naturally identified with the vector subspace of R3 consisting of all vectors orthogonal to M. It follows that a vector field Y on S2 can be seen as a map Y, S2 R3, which satisfies denote by dM Y the covariant derivative of the map Y in the direction of the vector X. Then we have lemma. The formula defines an affine connection on S2 with vanishing torsion. Proof. It is straightforward to prove that satisfies the Leibniz identity and is C infinity linear in the first variable. It is also a straightforward computation to show that this connection is torsion free. So all that needs to be proved here is that the formula above does indeed define a vector field. That is, we need to prove that for all m in S2 consider the map f that sends every m in S2 to less than y, m greater than, which is always zero. The map f is constant, hence its differential vanishes. In particular the equation above follows. In fact, this connection is the Levi-Civita connection for the metric on S2 inherited from R3. Indeed, one can check that this connection preserves the metric.